Hey folks, Coleman Alderson here for GardensAll.com. We're out here in our western section of the garden. It's a very sunny spot and we picked it because we want to grow sweet potatoes. Not in the usual way. Uh, we have space limitations so we can't do the hilling and all that. This is from last year. Um, you can just pan this area here and see we did have um, the setup as a sort of trellis for growing beans and cucumbers. This year we're going to convert it over to growing sweet potatoes. Um, sweet the cucumbers did really well here last year as well. So. That's right, they did. And But it's time to switch. Now these are usually how sweet potatoes come from our local store. Um, sometimes you can see them individually placed in little pots at some of your big box stores. We get these from a local feed and seed and they come in a huge bundle. I'm not gonna plant nearly as many, but I've already shared some with a relative and I'm looking for more takers on these. It's a variety known as Covington, which was developed here in North Carolina by NC State University. It's a very uh, tough variety of high producer has a reddish, nice reddish skin to it, and by all accounts is very, very tasty. So um, what we're gonna do is we're going and plant these, a few of, these are called slips, by the way. We're going to take about four slips and set them in the top of these bags, and I'll just show you the process. You can... Um, and this bag. Yeah, this bag is raised bed mix. Nothing particularly special about it. Uh, it is composty, so it's going to release nutrients rather slowly. Um, again, it's in a sunny location, and it's going to be well drained. But we have the top is right about here. We have this much. Uh, sweet potatoes like to send out roots, and they'll grow more or less down in this area rather than up near the crown of the plant. So. This is what we're planning on. We've heard this system works, and uh, you know us, we're always up for an experiment. Mm -hmm. um, now, it was commented by one of our uh, associates here that these bags are not the prettiest things in the world. <laughs> so, uh, went ahead and ordered some burlap, and what we're going to do is slip this into the burlap. I'll show you, first of all, the first process that we go through is we take a pencil, okay? We want these things to drain, otherwise you're gonna get sort of an anaerobic uh, situation and real soggy down the bottom, which we do not want. So I'm just gonna take this pencil and just go in and these are not- Ooh, that's gonna sound awesome on yeah, video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. And I'll catch a little bit on the front. <laughs> Gardening is a violent sport. <laughs> yes, it is. So this is all set up, and then we're going to work it into this um, burlap bag before we open it. It'll be a little handier. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I've already. You know, it's pretty simple to, yeah. to do that. And we so got I'll show these you what... conveniently, almost like it was planned. Oh gee, <laughs> yeah, it's like a kitchen, right? It's like recipes, and we have stuff already cooked ahead. <laughs> well, um, here's the deal. Going to water this in a little bit and put a little see I cut the top yeah. and these plants are going to grow we could of course let them grow up and then out and spread like this that might be fine it would sort of hamper our, our space as to get stuff through and all I'm debating on maybe just trellising it up and uh, tying them up to a trellis structure. Kind of like you did with the tomatoes on our arches, which are in the background Yeah, there. very similar. So um, this, is, this is really good material to grow in. You can see how rich and dark it is. Um, what I'm gonna do is moisten it, and then we'll put a few plants in there just to show you how it's done. And it's always good to put this on a shower. And with the holes cut out in the bottom, you know it's going to drain down pretty well. All right. And I'll come back and make sure this is all soaked. And by the way, um, the plan is later I'll run a, uh, a line off our drip irrigation 
and we'll have little tubes coming up from the main su uh, supply line into these bags that will be dripping so we can put everything on an automatic uh, you know timer situation and just water everything automatically okay so here's an instance oh, yeah. this see? is a slip is a slip These, each one are slips. rooted? Sorry? A slip is one bit of one, the root One of thing. these is a so slip. Here is a And slip. you can see it's already sending out roots. The tops look pretty healthy. Nice. And uh, and they give you like 50 of these, right? They in a give bundle. You a bundle. Or not give you, you bought it, but you know. Right. So uh, what we're going to do is, is, and I won't do it with all of these, but here's an example. You just go down in here with the trowel, set it down in, make sure the roots are going down in there, okay? And then you put it down to where, it's about where the crown is, like that. And I'm just pinching it, and I'll do this with two or three more. And uh, It's really we'll, hard to see, but yeah, hopefully you get the... you all get the idea. And this, um, the leaves will be here on the top obviously catching the sun and all that and they'll grow up and then we'll determine whether we're going to trellis them on up or just let them flow over uh, that's just going to be a judgment call later on awesome. so uh, if you guys are doing anything similar this is the first time we've ever tried this if you've ever had any experience growing in uh, bags of soil like this or or even burlap we um, we decided we'd use the plastic with the burlap wrap mainly because you can see how porous this is. I was really concerned about the burlap uh, drying out or getting too wet and becoming, um, you know, kind of soggy and then very fragile and tearing and stuff. So this, I think, is a good compromise. We'll see a little bit down the road. Um, but please let us know if you've done anything like this. We'd uh, love to hear from you. And you can hitch up with us up on uh, Facebook or send us an email. It's gardensall.com. This is Coleman Alderson signing off. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.